I'm afraid, what are we doing to our young people? No, no, stop over. We're not doing jack shit. This is what's happening. There's no we are doing. This is the reality of human evolution. How can I stop feeling insecure about myself online? Why do I feel like everyone online hates me? How do I keep my child safe from the dangers of the internet? What can I do to protect myself no from social like media? What advice what are you do? telling your kids about the internet? Okay, you know what though, Gary? You're a dad. What are you gonna do when your daughter is 14 and she's locked in her room, desperate to make selfies and videos that people care about, and when she walks out of the room and says, no one likes me in this world. And I think about this a lot. This is my number one thing that I'm most passionate about, period, in the end of the world. Number one way to protect a child is to build their self-esteem. Guess what? You suck at a ton of Good, so does everybody else. You're also probably pretty rad at something, Try as many things as possible until you figure out what you're rad at and you like and go do that for the rest of your life. Most of all, what I care about is trying to have a conversation around self-esteem, eliminating envy, completely tuning out the judgment of others who have no context on your actual truth and trying to find a way to live within the means of your reality. I actually fear kids that are really good at school or really good looking. I'm being serious because their entire framework from the world is getting affirmation from those two things. So the very attractive, when they start hitting that 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, go into some very dark places. Because if the world has been telling you this is why you're good, you're like, fuck, like, like, right? Your number one responsibility, if you care about somebody underneath you, whether that's your child or your student or your teammate or whatever, your number one responsibility is to understand what you're affirming what we cheer for for our children become their framework. If we cheer that they're so good looking, they start to find value in their looks and become vulnerable in their 50s and 60s and 70s and 80s. If we cheer for their sports acumen and like they're gonna be a pro and then they're not, they're lost at 22. When a child is not insecure, they don't succumb to danger. If you make her confident in who she is, that she's amazing the way she is, she will not succumb to other people and that is how she will navigate. Ultimately, I believe the biggest miss in the world is people focusing on things that don't matter and underestimating the things that matter. Focusing on the things that matter most and building up self-esteem around that and then suffocating and muting the stuff society values because in reality, long-term, it doesn't matter as much. We are strong as shit. We're really fucking strong. We're just being sold that we're not because there's a lot of money in telling us that we're not pretty enough, thin enough, smart enough, good enough. Fuck that. I wanna tell you you're the fucking best, go do shit.